Yo, yo, what's up, YouTube? This your boy, Yo Bay, who say, What's up, Records Lay Production? Back at you. This time, we're getting into the mini series. We're going to have a mini series this time about getting your mix ready if you was in an SSL console in your house, in your dog. You got an SSL console in here. So, how you'll go about working this system with that? All right. Basically, First thing you'll do, well, you'll be using your MIDI or whatever plugins you got to run to make your beat. So, I ran drum, uh, drum core uh, free. So, Gary Thomas, GT, my drummer today, right? He the drummer for the day. All right. So, when I ran them drums, they in this folder. Okay, the drums, these are all the drums that, the MIDI. But after I run my drums, what I do, I record it back. So I got the audio file. I got the MIDI, now I want the audio. So how I get the audio is I record it. So I record it back in by selecting the track. So this is the drum called VST. Down here you see this say F15 sampler, which is right here. So basically this track is where I do it. See MIDI the audio. See it say MIDI the audio. This way I record all the tracks and then I drag it. Create a new track. Drag it to the new track. Name it. So basically some of the tracks uh while I played it, let me show you what I mean. I'm gonna just give you a demonstration of what I mean. Okay, here we go. I think I just cut it off again. All right. All right. So, we're going to cut. I'll solo these two tracks for a second and you'll notice the live input monitoring on I'm gonna turn this off so I won't hear it coming back. I right, so I turned that off. So I'm only getting that sound. I'm just going to press record just to show you what I mean. So this is what I do. But nine times out of ten, except for probably like five or six tracks, I record the MIDI first. Some of them I didn't record the MIDI. I just record it. Press record here. Turn the record off for here because you still get the sound. Right? And then I just record it from the track so I only got the audio. And uh. That's how I did that. So we already do this. So basically that's how I do it right there. That's the recording. Then I rename it. So this is how I will rename it. This say maybe the audio recording right now. So whatever I was using. So if I was using a Nexus or whatever. See this say sound. I was using sound of one here and Nexus here. These are the only two tracks that's not the sampler mod in this beat. The uh, F-15 sampler mod. Every other track except for the drums is the sample mod so what I do is name it and how you'll do it easy for 
the sampler racks and stuff, things of that nature, you'll just click on it, then the name will be right here. So I copy it and then I just press it right here and paste it. So now it'll be named, I create a new track, and now that I already got that name. I'm just going to go through the process so you can see this how I do it. So now, I already got the name copy, so I'm going to paste it again right here. And then now I'm going to just move the track. Down. Okay. So now, you can see, this is how I do it. I color it. So now... I got my track name, I got, I know what it is, that's how I do that. Okay. So basically, that was the way I do it, how I get my tracks back in. So with thinking of that, like I say, this is the tutorial on the SS, having a SSL in your house, in your doll. So I basically recorded it back into the doll, right? You know what I mean? I recorded everything back into the doll. Okay. And now... What I did is I slapped the uh, white channel on every track. And the funny thing about this is it it really adds one p three points, but only to the right side. It's weird. Right, it had three points of decimal of gain that you actually hear, but you would think it's more than just three points that you're hearing, but it do. Hold on, let me show you. If you know, let me stop. I'm gonna stop it right there so you can see. All right, that's the peak 158, negative 158 on the right side. I'm saying because watch what I'm gonna show you on the right side. It's just gonna go down two points, it's gonna change two points. Watch this. So we're going to select all these plugins. And then I'm going to cut this back on. And now, watch this. It's going to be side 56. See that? See? Look. I gave it two points. Only two de two points of a decimal, but you really can you hear the difference of what it do. It's like, man, you can't explain it. When you slap this on every track, it really is. You feel like you really got an SSL in front of you. So, I mean, just the concept. So, in the next video, I'm going to go into what you benefit out of this and what is the downsides out of this? So stay tuned for the next video when I get into the ups and downs of using the console method. Peace.